My second guest, Stephanie J. Lai. My second guest. How old's your baby now? How old your baby is? Nine months. Yay. Yeah. I made a person. <laughs> My second guest on my Sirius XM show, I'm still in a state of shock that she showed up. Nine to Five had two shows Wednesday. Both were performances that critics were coming to. Oh, and the next wow. day was opening night. Yet, yeah. Stephanie J. Block not only was my main guest, but she sang two songs. And one had a sustained E-flat. Right! <laughs> I've never seen anyone less nervous about resting before critics' performances and less... I must protect my instrument. Seriously, she was so cool about it. Actually, too shame. Unfortunately, she blew her voice out and wound up missing both shows Wednesday and opening night. That's Just kidding. Awesome. I actually saw her Wednesday night, and she was amazing. After the show, I ran up to Stephen Oremus, the musical director, to find out what the high notes were in her second act, Big Number. She had the nerve to be belting F sharps. Yeah! Anyway, bye bye. Stephanie has a new CD coming out. She literally does a duet with Dolly Parton on I Will Always Love You. Bye bye! Now available on. Oh, iTunes, <laughs> my website, PS Classics. What's up on a map this is playing at? Anyway, um, I started writing a column in the playbills that are in theaters, and I decided to write next month about what shows to take your kids to if you can't get into one of the signature Broadway musicals geared towards children. I took Julie, who was so young back then. Uh, now she's 15. Is this all you? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to zone out. <laughs> well, it doesn't really make sense for you to, I took Julie and Henry Gold, Judy Gold's son, to see 9 to 5. I watched 9 to 5 with my eyes half on the stage and half on the kids. Turns out, they loved it. But they were blank-faced when I excitedly told them that Stephanie was belting F-sharps. <laughs> Maybe they thought I meant F-sharp above middle C. Should have made it clearer that it was an octave above that. Then I surely got the reaction I wanted. <laughs> I was the only 9-year-old child who would listen to a Broadway record and immediately run to the piano to test what notes were being belted, what notes were mixed, and what notes were in head voice. That's why I had 18 years of loneliness. <laughs> It worked out now. I got two books. I did a benefit for the Actors Fund called Nothing Like a Damon. Interviewed Kelly O'Hara, Andrew McCardle, Bibi Newworth, Betty Buckley, Audrey McDonald, and Stephanie J. Bond. At one point, I asked Stephanie about her accent when she was doing the Toronto version of Wicked. They wanted to fly the witch on an actual broom. And after running the show in rehearsal, they decided to try the new trick one more time. Just one more time. Suddenly, the harness I was in snapped. <gasps> then they couldn't get me down. Every time they tried to bypass the computer and bring her down manually, it would take me right back up again. Oh. Finally, it started clanking so badly that it began to literally bang me against a lighting pole. No. Yes, it all worked out. The amazing news is the doctor said she needed eight weeks of physical therapy to heal from her injuries. And I was back in two. <laughs> she not only she not only defied gravity, but also she defied doctor's orders. <laughs> <laughs> then, Stephanie showed a video of herself in a talent contest from when she was 11 years old, singing that Melissa Manchester hit, Through the Eyes of Love, oh. otherwise known as the ubiquitous theme from Ice Castles, which was a favorite of altos in my junior high school chorus, as well as boys <laughs> whose voices hadn't changed. <laughs> After Stephanie sang in the talent show video, the camera angle showed the side of the stage where a machine was situated. Oh. Turns out the talent show was set up so the applause from the audience would move the needle oh. of the of the so-called fame meter oh. <laughs> Measures your fame? <laughs> Thankfully for Stephanie, it reached the highest limit. It was exciting yet horrifying to have your applause literally measured. I don't know if the vibrations from the audience really moved it, or if someone was forced to sit inside it, E.T. style. There was someone in there, really? E.T. style. <laughs> but either way, it was impressive technically <clears throat> and demeaning soul-wise. Bibi Newworth was next, and she said she was mortified to be right after Stephanie. She said, this actually makes sense. I'm intimidated to follow either Stephanie at today's age or at 11 years old. <laughs> Hilarious. Hearing Bibi talk, you know that she had, she's had the same personality her whole life. She reminds me of Jonathan Freeman from, you know, Aladdin, who told me once, when I was 10, I was 40. <laughs> this week, I interviewed the fabulous belcher Shoshana Bean. She was the third alphabet in Wicked, but auditioned to be the standby in the original production. She had to sing Defying Gravity for the audition, and I asked her how she learned it since the CD wasn't even out yet. She told me that she called Stephanie J. Block, who did all the first readings of the show. Shoshana left me a message asking me how the song went. She expected Stephanie to call back, you know, sing a little of the chorus and verse, just enough to give her a sense of the song. That is not what happened. <laughs> Shoshana said that Stephanie left a message, and P.S., it was obviously she was calling from a street corner because you could hear crazy traffic noises in the background. Shoshana said, Hi, and then... <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Stephanie said, Hi, and then proceeded to sing the entire song. <laughs> full out. <laughs> With all the acting choices and every note, fully belted. Okay, 
We're gonna do just the beginning to do a sense of what this is. <laughs> Seventy second in Broadway. <laughs> Something has changed within me. You gotta, you gotta make sure you're, you're growing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you gotta make sure you're growing. So, so start. You know, don't belt it out right away. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. I'm through with. Shut up, play. Who's up? Someone else's game. Second guessing, Lomans is totally right there. Too late to go back to sleep. It's time to trust my instincts. Close my eyes. And then it'll be railroad tracks, so just hold as long as you need. <laughs> and leap. It's time to try. Yeah. 